the A320 is already one of the most popular commercial aircraft of all time, but Airbus has just revealed its plan to launch a successor by the mid-2030s. And airlines won't just want it, they'll beg for it. Why? With revolutionary improvements in fuel efficiency, sustainability, and passenger comfort, this next-gen aircraft is set to reshape the future of aviation. Here's why every airline will need it. The single-aisle market is the bread and butter of modern aviation. With thousands of these planes flying every day, narrow-body jets like the A320 are essential for airlines worldwide. These planes are the go-to choice for short and medium-haul flights covering distances that represent the bulk of global air travel. Airlines depend on this market not just for efficiency, but for profitability. Both Airbus and Boeing know that the future of aviation dominance lies in their narrow-body fleets. The A320 has been a massive success, allowing Airbus to gradually eat away at Boeing's market share. But as air travel demands shift and environmental regulations tighten, the pressure to innovate is higher than ever. And Airbus is more than ready. The A320's successor is poised to address the growing concerns around fuel efficiency and carbon emissions while offering airlines unmatched flexibility in their operations. Let's take a moment to appreciate what made the A320 so groundbreaking. Introduced in 1984, the A320 wasn't just another narrow-body aircraft. It was a technological leap forward. One of its most notable innovations was the introduction of the fly-by-wire system, a first in commercial aviation. This system replaced the traditional manual controls with computerized systems, allowing for more precise handling, reduced pilot workload, and enhanced safety. But it wasn't just about the cockpit. The A320 also introduced carbon brakes, which significantly reduced maintenance time and costs. These advances made the A320 an attractive option for airlines, not just because of its fuel efficiency, but also because of its operational reliability. This technological prowess allowed Airbus to challenge Boeing's dominance in the narrow body market, where the 737 had reigned supreme for years. The A320's wider cabin gave passengers more room and comfort a factor that airlines leveraged to enhance the flying experience. Airlines quickly realized the value Airbus was offering, and the rest is history. Now, while we wait to dive into why Airbus next-gen aircraft will have airlines scrambling, let's first explore one of the most fascinating battles in aviation history, the A320 versus the Boeing 737. Both aircraft are icons, but their design philosophies are quite different. Boeing 737 is known for its powerful takeoff performance, thanks to its Pratt and Whitney engines, which give it quick acceleration. However, the A320's fly-by-wire system offers superior agility and maneuverability. One of the A320's key advantages is its cabin width. It's 7 inches wider than the 737, giving passengers a more spacious experience. This difference, while seemingly small, is significant in the tight confines of economy class, where every inch counts. Passengers notice it, and airlines know that a more comfortable ride translates into higher customer satisfaction. In terms of operational costs, the A320 generally has lower per seat costs compared to the 737, making it more economical for airlines in the long run. However, Boeing 737 typically enjoys lower maintenance costs and has a higher passenger capacity on certain variants. This rivalry pushed both manufacturers to innovate, but the A320 ultimately pulled it ahead, especially with the introduction of its next generation model, the A320neo. The A320neo, introduced in 2010, represents Airbus's commitment to continuous improvement. The NEO stands for New Engine Option, and it was designed to deliver more than just incremental improvements. It offers a 15% fuel efficiency boost compared to the original A320, thanks to the advanced engines provided by CFM International and Pratt & Whitney. 
Beyond fuel savings, the A320neo reduced noise levels and carbon emissions, making it a top choice for environmentally conscious airlines. The introduction of long-range variants like the A321LR and A321XLR further expanded its capabilities, allowing airlines to operate long-haul routes with a narrow-body aircraft. This strategic move opened up new markets and forced Boeing to accelerate the development of its 737 MAX, a decision that ultimately resulted in significant challenges for Boeing. In contrast, Airbus continued to solidify its market position, particularly with airlines looking for versatile aircraft capable of handling everything from short domestic flights to transatlantic routes. A 320 successor and beyond. With the A320neo still performing exceptionally well, you might wonder, why is Airbus already developing a successor? The answer is simple, technological limits. Both the A320 and 737 have been stretched and modified to their limits, and any further advancements would likely require a clean sheet design. Airbus CEO Guillaume Fauré recently confirmed that Airbus is working on two major projects for the future a hydrogen-powered aircraft and a new narrow-body aircraft that could succeed the A320. The hydrogen-powered concept, named Zero-E, is an ambitious project aimed at decarbonizing air travel, but the A320 successor is likely to rely on sustainable aviation fuel and advanced aerodynamics. Airbus expects this new aircraft to deliver a 25-30% reduction in fuel consumption a significant leap in efficiency that would help airlines comply with stricter environmental regulations. While Boeing is still working to recover from the 737 MAX crisis, Airbus has a unique opportunity to dominate the market for the foreseeable future. While Airbus works on its next-generation aircraft, there's speculation that the A220 could step in as a temporary or even permanent replacement for the A320. Originally developed by Bombardier, the A220 is known for its fuel efficiency and performance on short to medium haul routes. Airbus is reportedly considering developing a stretched variant, the A220-500, which could seat up to 200 passengers and compete directly with the A320neo. Powered by next-gen engines like Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan, this model could offer airlines a high-efficiency option while the A320 successor is still in development. The A220's lightweight design and smaller carbon footprint make it an attractive choice for airlines looking to modernize their fleets. It could serve as a bridge between today's A320 and the future models Airbus is working on. The Future of Air Travel in the race to develop the next-generation narrow-body aircraft, Airbus isn't just focused on fuel efficiency. Passenger experience is also at the forefront. The new A320 successor will likely feature cabin enhancements that improve passenger comfort. Think quieter flights, more spacious cabins, and better climate control systems, all designed to make flying a more pleasant experience. From a sustainability perspective, Airbus is doubling down on its commitment to reducing aviation's environmental impact. By focusing on SAF and potentially hydrogen power, the A320 successor will help airlines meet their carbon reduction goals while continuing to deliver the efficiency and reliability they need to stay competitive in a demanding industry. Airbus's path to market leadership. Airbus is not just preparing for the next decade they're preparing to dominate it. The A320 successor promises to be the most efficient and sustainable narrow-body aircraft ever built. With Boeing still recovering, Airbus has the opportunity to set the standard for the future of air travel. The A320 successor, whether it's a new design or a stretched A220, will be crucial for airlines looking to modernize their fleets and meet environmental targets. Airbus's focus on fuel efficiency, passenger comfort, and operational flexibility ensures that the A320 successor will be a game changer. So, what do you think? Could the A220-500 serve as a worthy successor, or will Airbus completely redesign the A320? Let us know in the comments.
And don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth aviation analysis.